practice is hard to come by <laughs> once the season mm -hmm. starts. I mean, what are some of the things that you guys were drilling down on trying to tighten up? Concepts, uh, principles, who we want to be, and being committed to those throughout 48 minutes instead of 24, 30, 32, whatever. Just being more, I guess, consistent in what you're doing. Yeah. When you look at the offensive tape from Philly, did you feel that that kind of drought you went through was about creating advantages less or maintaining them? Um, it's a combination. Yeah. It's a combination. Uh, when we created, we didn't sometimes convert early. We got a couple good looks, and any of those droughts, there were times we got plenty of good looks, um, and it kind of just slows down your pace and rhythm, makes you second guess a little bit, you know. You try to, I think the mindset is you want to really focus on getting a good one, but it can take away from your aggression and your pace. Um, so just remaining committed to, to playing with pace. You know, we haven't been scoring transition too well, so getting back to doing that and then just sharing the ball and being decisive. This is, uh, you guys have had one of the tougher schedules in the league to start. I mean, you've only played four losing teams. Yeah. You beat them all. But, I mean, when you're playing a team like Atlanta, you know, quality team, what do you guys have to do to be able to, yeah, basically finish off against those kind of quality opponents. One, we got to defend. You know, understand what they want to do and how we can best take that away. I mean, that's what a big part of the league is about. Um, and then be able to spin that into transition opportunities and, and buckets on our own and, and just continue to play aggressive and free and, you know, understand that we're going to get good shots and just keep shooting if they're not falling. As, uh, when you look at your shot profile since you've come back, are they... Are you getting the looks that you would want? Or and are you just kind of, if you are getting them, are you just kind of finding your way from, you know, having the lost time, you know? A little bit of both. Um, I think I'm finding ones that I want. I'd say a disproportionate amount of them come up a little short that left the hand feeling good. So it's just something I got to address. If those ones fall, which, you know, they felt like they would, it'd be a lot, you know, this conversation would be completely different. Um, so I don't really feel like I'm not getting quality looks or, you know, I'm completely out of rhythm. I'm catching them in rhythm, I'm shooting them in rhythm, and they're feeling good leaving the hand. So that's all I can do and just keep playing that way. With Atlanta, one of the differences this year is they're playing a little faster and Jalen Johnson's in the starting mm -hmm. lineup. I mean, how are you going about addressing them that was maybe different than when you played Atlanta in, in previous years? Just being aware of that, you know, being aware of different personnel groups. You know, Johnson's taking on a bigger role, um, so being aware of how he plays and how he wants to score, in addition to the fact that he's shooting the ball well, better than he had previously. Um, so being aware of that, uh, obviously the head of the snake is, is Trey Young. And so, you know, taking him out of the positions that he's comfortable in and making it harder on him and then paying attention to those roles, being in, in position and, and just contesting everything. You guys assess the film defensively. Are there any areas that are sticking out that are contributing to you not being where you want to be? I'd say one of them is just physicality. Physicality and then just a slight second, third effort and covering for each other. I think a lot of it is, you know, head on the swivel, trying to be in the right spot. Uh, but I think we can touch teams up a little more.